Hello everyone, uh, my name is Karn, and today we're going to talk about solo healing with Tassadar. Um, this is a video that a friend of mine had requested, uh, just a short guide on um, solo healing with Tassadar. Um, just because uh, there seems to be a consensus uh, that he's not a very good solo healer uh, at all. Um, he's a good healer in tandem with a secondary support, or he is a secondary support to a main healer, where he's most effective, um, but I've actually had a lot of success uh, solo healing with him. Um, not too much Hero League, uh, mostly quick matches. Um, it's just, you know, it's a fun build with Tassadar um, that is actually surprisingly effective as far as um, the numbers uh, in which you can heal throughout the game. Um, a quick look at talents um, that I pick. <coughs> Typically, um, I start off with Conjure's Pursuit. Uh, you get some extra mana regen um, for health globes that you're picking up and um, typically just get uh, really greedy throughout the match um, usually mid game and especially late game um, you can kind of stay in fights and um, put shields on people and um, really not have too much trouble running out of mana or having people uh, die on you because you're waiting um, for a heal the, um, the shields are actually pretty quick cool down to five seconds so every five seconds you can kind of put shields on people and the mana regen really helps. Um, level 4, we do Leeching Plasma. This is um, probably the second most important talent for uh, a solo healing build with Tassadar. Um, basically, when the shields are on a hero, um, they can also be put on anything, mercenaries, minions, towers. Um, all of the um, auto attacks, basic attacks, 30% uh, of the damage will be turned to that um, target as health. Um, so he's not really healing, he's really putting shields on people and the shields do the healing. Um, so that's important to keep in mind. Uh, level 7, probably the most important is the Colin's Embrace. This um, keeps 50% of the shield um, once it expires. Um, so um, that's probably the most important and uh, I'll, I'll show some replays in a, in a minute here. And uh, we'll just see how that works. Um, he does have the option to do the mule, and I do like playing mule builds uh, with healers. I, I usually do that with some uh, like uh, Malfurion, who I've been playing a lot in um, Hero League games. Um, but with Tassadar uh, for a solo healed, um, you kind of definitely need to take the Kala's Embrace. Um, level 10, I'll take a Force Wall. I see a lot of people, especially in. Um, tournaments that I watch, um, the regional championships, um, typically take the Archon, you do some extra damage, um, you do some splash damage, but I don't really play Tassadar um, for doing damage, I have really no aspirations to do damage with Tassadar, um, the Force Wall is um, it's a quicker cooldown, it's a, a lot more fun to play, and um, it's a lot more useful um, in the role that I play him as. He's a, a support and healer. Um, the force wall is a lot better for, um, you know, if you need to escape, you can kind of put the wall down in a choke point and keep people alive. Um, it's also good for securing takedowns if, if someone is, you know, trying to run away. If you can get quick enough in there, just put a wall down and um, pile the damage on while they're stuck. Uh, level 13, we take the scryer. Um, basically the trait, which is the, um, uh, the vision, um, large area vision reveal, um, will give you some movement speed, um, which is really good for um, just kind of keeping yourself alive. You do get um, the dimensional shift as your E, um, which is good for getting out of trouble, but um, if you need a little extra, um, you get the trait, give you some more movement speed. Um, combine that with the talent, uh, the ultimate, the force wall, you can get away from a lot of stuff like that. Uh, level 16, I get the resonation, um, the psionic storm will do some slowing. So, good for escaping, good for securing takedowns. And level 20, uh, I've usually been getting the force barrier um, to increase um, the ability of the ultimate. Um, storm shield doesn't really matter just because I'm usually keeping the shields up on everyone already. Um, rewind, I, I don't really need, 
I haven't really played around with it that much on Destar. I usually get the force button. So, um, let's go through some replays and uh, we'll cut this up for YouTube to make this a little bit quicker. We're going to try to do live narration over a game here. Um, tried doing it earlier. Ended up getting eternal shrines and it did not go so well. So we're going to try that again. Well, we'll see what this auto select ends up being. Um, otherwise, we're pretty good here. Alright, I think we got Jaina. Okay. Well, this is uh, an okay team for solo healing. Uh, Tassadar. Uh, is pretty good for putting the shield on. Sergeant Hammer, we can do healing. Um, Jane and Sylvanas will probably be the biggest ones to worry about. <coughs> Alright, so we're just gonna get ourselves to level 4. And we can get that healing shield. Get Marky out of here. Really all we care about is getting that mage down and getting his health regen globe. Just get a bunch of stacks of these. Um, for later in the game, mid game, late game. Too much we can do till we get to level four. We'll try to put the shield on him, get some the damage soaked up. But um, oh, I love that. about laning with Jane is we both have kind of this AoE uh, that fits very nicely over the minion waves. You can kind of get all seven of them down at the same time. Then we got our healing shield. See, we're just keeping Johanna alive with the shield. Can't really leave the shield on her. Um, she did get a little bit of health back with the auto attack, but um, yeah, going two on one like that. Not too much we can do until maybe level seven. <coughs>
getting into some trouble up top here. I must retreat. So close to level 7. Here we are. Alright, so now my shields are gonna stick. And we're just gonna run around and put these on everyone. Get one of myself, too. As soon as the shield comes down, put it right back on. And that'll just stay there. See, Sergeant Hammer is nice and healed up now. <clears throat> put one on Jaina. Get her some, uh, some extra damage she can take. Wall, always a fun ultimate. Probably my favorite ultimate among all the heroes. It just it does so much. It's just so much fun. <clears throat> Capture someone like outside of uh, where they're supposed to be. Let's we'll see if we can get Murky out here. Uh, he just disintegrates anyways. If Chen or someone else would come out of the gate, we could trap them going back in but all right so we only have 12 uh, regen orbs we're still kind of hurting for mana so we're gonna go get a well and uh, should probably deposit these gems where's the my rest of my team Jaina and hammer Still doing a good job of pushing this lane out. Yeah, we're gonna stop the turn again. That was a bad barrier. Okay, hammer needs to heal. Sylvanas is gonna need one in a second. Salinas. There you go. There we are. Alright, Jaina needs a bubble. Hammer still got her his stitches. stitches right now. It's got way too many gems on its person. Action going on up here. What the hell?
Right now we just kind of got everyone all bubbled up, nice and healthy. And we're just going to push with the web weavers once they get here. Bit it there. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit the uh, dimensional shift. So I call it the oh shit button. In situations like that, you're just kind of like oh shit. All right, all bubbled up once again. Just kind of stay back, get some auto attacks in, get some of that damage back as health. But we're not gonna go too crazy here. confident here. <clears throat> Everyone's just kind of running off on their own. Yeah, see, Hammer keeps getting into trouble. Go to this top lane.
Shayna. Good game. Wow. That was a very good game for this build. Um, 40,000 healing. <clears throat> so that's my daily complete, which is nice. Um, but let's look at this. Scoreboard, 20-0, uh, 40,000 healing. Um, totally outdoing their Tassador, um, but also outdoing their Morales. Um, and yeah, it wasn't really about healing, because um, I wasn't, you know, running around and throwing a ton of health into people's health bars. Um, it's really more about the shields, making sure everyone has the shields. Um, when they run out, you replace them, and then getting those health gen orbs to get the mana regeneration so that um, it's never really a sticky situation. You're never really um, waiting for the mana. Because um, a couple of times I did, I was running out of mana, but as long as I'm not casting too many spells aside from the shield, I'm just doing a bunch of auto attacks, um, you can throw them down pretty quickly. Um, and once those shields get on there, you know, it's just up to that hero. Um, as long as they're not getting surrounded, um, they're picking good engagements. They can get some health back um, while doing damage. Um, Jaina and Sylvanas, you know, <clears throat> not exactly the tankiest heroes in the game, but they're getting he uh, a lot of healing from those shields because, you know, they're doing a lot of damage with the auto attacks. Um, Sergeant Hammer as well. Um, she kind of kept her shield on for a bunch of the game. But yeah, that um, is a... Uh, awesome example of uh, of how I play this Tassadar. Yeah, this was just a quick guide. Um, let me know if you have any comments, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.